Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the function libraries. A function library is a collection or a centralized location where you can store your functions. Whereas a function is a group of statements that can be used wherever it is required to avoid writing of same code again and again. A function library can be written into a two format. Okay, the first one is .qfl stands for quick test function library and the second one is dot vbs that stands for visual basic script so we'll see how to create these files from the qtp okay so to work on the function libraries there are two simple steps that need to be followed the first one is create or open function library and the second thing is associate function library with test Okay, so let's go to the tool. To create a function library, select the new option and the function library. So here, library 2 or 1 or 3 can be opened. So you can open a number of library file into the QTP tool. So you can write anything, any statement can be written here or you can write a function here also. Okay, to save it. Here you have to provide the name of the function library whereas if you store it with QFL format it will store in the QFL format. If you provide .VBS the file gets stored into a VBS format. Okay, I have created two function libraries previously. Let's open that function library. So these are the two function libraries. The first one is demo function .QFL, where a simple function is written. That function is just doing a message box thing this is a test function whereas the second is dot vbs file the function is demo in vbs and this is also prompting some message in a message box okay so here we have created a function library but we want to use this function into our test okay so you cannot use these functions until you have associated this file into your test so to associate the file go to the file then settings and resources and from here associate function libraries okay select the plus icon select the file okay let's select the vbs function library okay and let's select the another one as qfl demo function that qfl open it so we have associated these function libraries into our test. Now here you can write the function. See the function. So if this function is available to your test. If you execute this, so it will execute the code of your test. See this is a test function. It will execute the message box that is written into our demo function library. Okay. Similarly, if you want to access this function, you can write the function demo in VBS. And if you execute it, see the message, this is function in VBS file. The function of VBS file gets called. Now, the difference between the VBS and the QFL. Okay. So, there are two differences between the VBS and the QFL file okay uh, so the first difference is uh, vbs file gets loaded very first into the qtp okay so when qtp execute the test all the function libraries gets loaded into the qtp memory okay and the order of the function libraries to load into the memory is the same in which it is associated okay so the order is first the vbs file load will get loaded and then the qfl file will get loaded so if you change the order here dot qfl and then dot vbs it will load the vbs file first okay so this is the difference if you have n number of function libraries here all are of the qfl and then one is the vbs file so qtp first load the vbs file okay and the second difference is if you want to access the functions from the library file, you need to associate the function libraries. But in case of VBS function, it is not mandatory. How? Let's see this. Okay. The first thing is let's deassociate the VBS file. 
now we want to access the function okay if we access this function directly it will give an error so to access the function we have to use the execute file method and the syntax of the execute file method is you have to write the statement execute file and pass the path of your VBS file. So here I have stored this function and after then if you call the function in the VBS file it can be successfully called. Okay let's execute this. See this is a function in VBS file. So what we have done, we deassociate the VBS file and then we have just used the execute file method and then use the functions in the VBS file. So this is the basic difference. You cannot use the QFL file in such manner. This is possible only with the VBS file. So these are the two basic difference. The first one is QTP by default load the VBS file first and then the QFL files and the second thing is it's not necessary to associate the VBS file. VBS file can be directly accessed using execute file method. This is all about the function libraries. Thank you.